friends, Kimmy Fruits, your independent Scentsy consultant here. If you are new, thank you for stopping by my channel. If you are a returning favorite, thanks for stopping by and seeing what I have to say today. I am going to be discussing something really exciting. So if you have been with Scentsy or you know Scentsy, they release bricks during the holidays and you're probably like, what the heck's a brick if you don't know anything about Scentsy and silly me, I didn't, let me grab a bar really quick. All right, sorry about that, I was unprepared. I have a bar there. But Scentsy releases holiday fragrance bricks during the holidays. Obviously because they're called holiday bricks, duh. Anyway, <laughs> um, I have them here and we're gonna talk about them. Lots of wax. So this was the first year that consultants could purchase all five of the bricks early so we can share them with you guys, uh, make samples for our customers and get these out so people can smell them and be amazed because if you're gonna get something this big, you're probably gonna wanna know what it smells like first, right? This is a regular Scentsy bar. This is a Scentsy brick, okay? It's five and a half times a regular bar. So this is a pound of wax. As big as my head. Amazing. So yes, you will probably want to know what they smell like. So you're um, not like, oh, hey, that's a lot of wax. I don't know if I want a whole brick of wax. Well, one thing to note is if you don't want an entire brick, which are super fun, and there are some really great fragrances here. You can, on October 25th, add the scents that you think you are going to like into a Scentsy Club subscription, and you can get them in this size, the smaller bar size, okay? So you don't have to commit to a pound of wax if you don't want to. So that's October 25th when the bars release, or excuse me, when the bricks release to the public. You can add the scents to a Scentsy Club subscription, which is a subscription service, obviously, and it does not cost a single cent to subscribe. You literally just sign up on the Scentsy website with your consultant's link. If you don't have a consultant, we need to talk. I would be happy to help you. Um, and then you will go to the Scentsy Club link and set up an account. Anything can be put in there as long as it's a consumable product, meaning it can run out. So you can put wax bars, you can put oils, car bars, room sprays, Scentsy Fresh, laundry, anything. Okay, you can put anything in Scentsy Club. The only thing you're gonna pay for is the items you put in the club. So whatever you put in there, you say you put uh, a six packs of wax, you're paying $30, okay? And you get a discount, a 10% discount, so you would get $3 off. And at $60 plus, you can add one half price item to your subscription, and it can be a whiff box. So you could add a whiff box, you could do a brick, which they have the classic scents in Scentsy Club. You could do a brick for a half price. So Scentsy Club's amazing and I absolutely love it. And you can get these bricks in bar form in Scentsy Club if you don't want to commit to a brick. So just to let you know. So now that we have discussed Scentsy Club, we're going to talk about the bricks. Um, I have melted all of them and I have cold thoughts and the warm thoughts. So we are going to discuss vanilla cinnamon maple first. It's a nice burnt orange colored wax. And this one, I'm not a big fan of this one. Um, I wasn't really for sure how I was going to feel about this one when I saw the scent notes and I ordered them. I don't really like it. <clears throat> it's okay. I don't hate it or anything, but it is really maple heavy. If you don't like maple, do not get this. You are not going to like it at all. 
You get sweet cream with a hint of cinnamon and a ton of maple. And that's vanilla cinnamon maple. That is literally what I get. A little bit of sweet cream, a little bit of cinnamon, and a heck of a lot of maple. It's so syrupy to me. I, I just, I'm not a big fan of that. <clears throat> but if you like maple, you're going to love that. Okay. What does Cincy say about it? Cincy says, <clears throat> cinnamon stick warms buttery maple atop a mountain of whipped sweet cream. Literally exactly what it smells like. The description, except it's very maple heavy. That's cinnamon or vanilla cinnamon maple. <coughs> Excuse me. My throat has been super dry today. I have to peep my Taylor Swift mug. I love her, you guys. I got that online somewhere. I don't remember, but it's an awesome mug. Let's see. The next one we are going to discuss, Fluffy Fleece. The artwork on these is so cute, you guys. I love it. I really was expecting to like this. I don't hate it. It's not like the maple one, but on cold, it reminds me of fresh granny laundry. Now, <laughs> don't laugh, but that's what it, it, it reminds me of my grandma, and it reminds me of fresh laundry. So you're like clean, floral, with a berry and it's not like a distinct berry and it's not a sweet fruity berry it's like a sensual berry so it's kind of a sensual scent clean floral grainy laundry okay it's not my favorite I don't think it smells hideous um but I expected a little more since he says fluffy fleece Black currant, that's the berry note. Okay. Black currant and cozy musk bundle up beneath a blanket of heliotrope. So, heliotrope is a floral. I don't know if I've ever seen it or smelled it in real life, <clears throat> but I'm not a big fan of it in this. Um, on cold, it's very, it comes off very grainy to me. Um, when warming it, it's not as bad. It's a little more on the fresh side than it is on the floral side, if that makes sense. But um, if you like kind of musky, sultry, clean scents, Fluffy Fleece, that was your guy. All right, next we have Pink Poinsettia. And this, honestly, uh, I thought I was going to like the least when I first saw the scents. Uh, but this is actually my favorite of all five. I'm very shocked. So this one, it smells so good, you guys. It's like, it smells like fruit punch. It smells like slightly, there's a tiny, tiny floral note in there and there's just a ton of fruity. So it's a fruity floral and it's just, it's nice. I don't know what makes it different from like the other super summery fruity scents, but they nailed it and it's got like a winter touch to it. I don't really know how to explain it. It has a, some kind of note in it that makes it a winter fruity scent. And I love it. I'm here for it. I'm going to put this in my club. I've already, I went through three pieces already because I like it that much. Um, I'm going to melt it. Um, in a different warmer, I warmed it in 20 watt warmers and an element warmer wasn't the strongest. So I'm going to see if it was the warmers or if it's just the scent. I'm going to be really disappointed if it's not stronger because I like it so much, you guys. It's really nice. So let's see what Scentsy says about it. Pink poinsettia, crisp plum, and blackberry celebrate the season with a burst of pomegranate. It's so good. Um, 
really fruity, but it's a nice winter fruity scent. Um, I really could see warming pink, pink poinsettia all year round though. It's, it's really good. So next we have Sweet Orange Pomander. Pretty artwork again. This one, if you do not like cinnamon, do not get this one. <laughs> So the first thing you smell is Red Hot Craft Store Cinnamon. Then you get clove. And the orange is like the very bottom note. I get it though. I really like this one. I think this smells so good. Um, it definitely smells super strong when you open the brick and you smell it on cold. Warming, it is strong, but... It's not like knock your face off strong when you open the brick and smell the cold wax. But it's definitely a strong scent and you have to like cinnamon. So if you don't like cinnamon and red hot cinnamon, you're not going to like this. But this performs really well. I really like this one. Um, I was expecting to not like this because last year, I think it was, one of the Christmas collection scents was... Fossil Wonderland or, or something like that and I was expecting so much from that and it smelled super like orangey and kind of gross to me um, this is so much better um, this is what I wanted that scent to smell like so this sweet orange pomander it's really good um, it totally reminds me of the holidays I kind of want to warm a tree scent with it so you know I'm probably gonna warm some of this Icicles and Evergreen from the Whip Box, which is November scent of the month. I'm going to warm that with this and see how that does because I think they would be really nice together. Um, but this one is nice. I like this a lot. So, since he says about the sweet orange pomander, sparkling clove and cinnamon stick adorn sweet orange in a dazzling display. Yep. Red hot cinnamon, you get clove, and then you get the orange on the very back end. Very nice. I like that. So, last but not least, we have the Spiced Eggnog scent. The artwork is cute. Oh, I love the Scentsy designers. They do such cute work. So, this one, as you can see, I've not went through many of this. I don't like eggnog as a drink. Uh, eggnog scents I've tried in the past I have not liked. And on cold, this smells very boozy and spicy. So just on cold sniff, I would never warm it. <laughs> to be honest with you, it, it smells gross to me. <laughs> um, it smells like spicy cream. And I get that's kind of what eggnog is, but rum... It's first of all, it smells like rum, then it smells like spice, and then it smells like cream. So it smells like spiced rum cream. And on cold sniff, I, I don't like it at all. Um, I did warm some because I wanted to see how it would do. And I have to say, on warm, it's not bad. Um, I like it a lot better when it's warming. I will get through the brick. Um, I don't know when. I'll probably maybe use some this Christmas and next Christmas. But um, I'm not going to be clubbing this anytime soon. But definitely if you do like eggnog or uh, spiced rum, you're going to like this. The warm is a little bit different than, like I said, the cold. To me, it smells a lot better. The booze is like very toned down when you're warming it. Um, it's just more of a sweet creamy scent, which is nice. Uh, the one thing I will say about this scent, it fizzles really fast. Um, I had like several in, in that warmer there, which is salt rock. And then I have another salt rock, which is right behind me. I had them in those and then, um, in this one and then a mini warmer and it went really quick. Um, I didn't have it in maybe a day and a half. And I don't keep these on all the time. So sadly, to my nose, this was not a strong performer. But 
it is an authentic scent and if you do like eggnog you would probably really enjoy this one so let me tell you what Scentsy says about it spiced eggnog ground clove simmers in a festive blend of buttered rum and creamy eggnog there you have it it's exactly what you get so let's do a order from what I like most to least. Alright. My favorite of the five is Pink Poinsettia. Guys, this is just nice. I, I can warm this all year. Um, so good. Fruity. It has like a winter, a winter note in it though that just makes it appropriate for this season. But you can warm it in the summer too. I really like that one a lot. So pink points that is number one. Number two is sweet orange pomander, cinnamon, clove, and a tiny hint of orange. Very nice. Heavy on the cinnamon though. So if you don't like cinnamon, this is not for you. Love that one. That's number two for me. Um, number three. I'm gonna go with fluffy fleece um and the only reason I'm gonna go with fluffy fleece for number three is because it reminds me of my grandma <laughs> so a little bit of sentimental vibes on that one number four is gonna be the spiced eggnog like I said on cold I don't like it at all but um when it's warming it's pretty nice it's just a nice creamy scent <clears throat> and last but not least, vanilla cinnamon maple. As you can see, I have warmed the least of this. I don't like this on cold or warm. Um, it's very, very, very maple heavy. So if you like maple scents, you would, or you're going to love it. But um, if you don't, if you're not a maple person, um, not for you. I don't mind maple. We have apple maple apple bourbon I think it's what it's called in the current catalog I really like that um but the apple and the bourbon totally balance the maple and it doesn't give it I, I think this one's just too sweet for my me personally so it there's nothing to balance it it's like sweet on sweet on sweet so if you like sweet you'll love vanilla cinnamon maple <laughs> but um that is the holiday bricks you guys and they will be available to the public on October 25th, which is a Monday, not this coming Monday, but the Monday after, so in two weeks. And you can buy one for 24, but I would never do that. I would get the two for 40. And you can use party rewards if you are doing an event or have a shopping link you can use your rewards to get these. So you can use product credit or uh, reward credit, half price credit to get those. So you guys, um, so the two for 40, you get two bricks for 20. That would be amazing, right? Um, I am probably not, I, I might get the two poinsettia and the palmander maybe. Uh, but since I have these here, I'm not sure what I'm going to do yet. <laughs> we'll see how much I go through in two weeks. For, uh, and then I will see if I'm going to get those two. <laughs> but um, that is the holiday bricks. Thank you guys so much for joining me. Like if you enjoyed the video and subscribe. I would love it. I love talking Scentsy with you guys. Have a great rest of your evening and we will talk soon, okay?